she might move them in, I guess. You do get them spawn a lot on the... Oh. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> we do have buff loot. We do have buff loot. Are we going to see death from above in a cable car? This will be fantastic. This, I, I would have, look at this. This is great. I don't know if she's put the work in to dump all of these in here or what, but I really hope we get to see it. I mean, I've also definitely also seen clips of people trying to do this from cable cars and then just blowing up their entire teams with the back blast from the Panzers. So, uh, you know, it's, it's a high risk, high reward strategy. Estelot might be in the line of fire here if Elena has realized. Oh no, is that a little shack? He is going to get away with it. Not going to be spotted. This cable car is just going to nicely float over. Obviously, we have the redeployable parachute now on Vikendi. So, you know, plays can be made from these cable cars. Absolutely. Yeah, really nice to see that. Another one going past. Unfortunately, not someone in the other cable car. But hopefully the zone will maybe keep this in for, for one more. We can see something from it. But certainly got plenty, plenty of panzers to play with. No one's really taken a shot there. She's been pretty... Oh, there we go. Nice little random... I mean, there is actually... Pretty far. I think she went for the audio cue there and just fired. Imagine pulling that off. No, fell a couple of hundred meters short, but a valiant effort. You gotta respect the effort. I mean, I hope we really see like a cable car joust today. That's what I want to see. Two cable cars flying past and people just blasting each other. <laughs> We still got yeah, a bit of cable car still in. Someone taking shots at Elena. She has now bailed out, as you mentioned. Got that reusable parachute like we've seen in Destin. Oh, but Bad Boy might have some. No, Bad Boy's not looked over actually. Completely misses that Elena was flying down right next to them. So it does uh, give her a chance. Although they've now found themselves a panther as well. We might have a little scrap going on. Surely going to hear Elena as they are moving up this way. Bad boy, I 100% knows Elena's dropped in here. He stood silently waiting for some audio cue to blast Elena away in one fell swoop with that panzer. Yeah, definitely, definitely spooked. Hasn't moved, hasn't moved a footstep since Elena came down. But yeah, I'm just going to stand there and try and catch them as they run in, I think, is, is bad boy's plan here. Not Doesn't trust the crouch walk, doesn't trust the crawl. Um, we'll see how that develops. But a lot of players now moving in to that central area. We've got Iber in there, Morsi, Senpai. Everyone kind of closing in as we move into phase three here. Closing down, pushing out the whole of Decamesto there. And just moving down to a bunch of little compounds as we join. Here is Iber and Morsi have a little scrap. Yeah, this org from Iber, a dangerous AR. I actually personally love the org. It's so reliable. The damage is great. The recall is very easy to manage, and Morsey's going to be on the receiving end of it, but does have a DPS to boot. But Iber is not oh going to miss with this org. Headshots rain through, and Morsey is out of here. Just nasty. Just nasty with the org there. I remember years ago, I just it used to be a gun I'd sometimes leave in a crate, and I, I look back at myself with shame now. I think of that. It's such, such a good gun. Honestly, such a good gun. And brilliant spray there from, from Eber to, uh, to drop that. Quick headshot straight down. Did you just say you'd leave an org on the crate? I know, I know. Oh, oh, Ben. No. I know. No, all the orgs that have gone, just, I'm just thinking how all those crates. Uh, Sampai now trying to take shots. Can't quite connect on Pimka. Is it a bit of a situation? Pimka, one shot, Ooh. gone, eliminated by Sampai. Getting the first kill uh, of game one here. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how they survived that first spray, to be honest, but managed to get away with it, but couldn't survive the second. Here we are with Bad Boy. As Iber has got out of there, so um, I think uh, the... Oh, no, sorry, it was Elena, wasn't it? Not Iber. Okay, yeah, Elena did get taken down. Was that with a panzer? Not quite sure, but yeah, did manage to play the sneaky snake, sneaky snake and uh, take down Elena in the end. Yeah, Sneaky Snake, bad boy. I don't know if he's aware that Matrix is just lurking on the side here, waiting. He knows this is going to be happening near him. Elena taken down by bad boy. Still has that panzer. Yeah, Matrix definitely aware that bad boy is here. Now bad boy will also be aware of the situation. But Matrix with that one-shot cannon, the A-dub, is ready and waiting. Another AWM in play. I wonder if they've gained these. I guess I think we have increased airdrops, and I wonder if there's increased loot in the the supply drops as well that set off the alarms when you open them. But certainly a lot of weapons in high tier weapons in play. We've seen two AWMs, a Groza, an Org across four different players at the moment. Cable car still in play, but the cable car stops are out, so uh, no one unfortunately up in them. But we're down to 18 players now as we're shifting a little bit back up to the north. 
Yeah, Ibbet in that central zone. Going to be uh, nice and cushy as we see be what is Benjoy up to here. What's going on? What is he trying to show us? So he... So this is, he's in one of the underground bunkers here. It's unfortunately outside the zone. He's going to be hoping that someone's going to come down here. He's got a car in here and a Panzer. It's hard work. To, how did he, did he, can you fit a car through that? I guess so. There we go. Guys, yeah, it's, it's the great yeah. escape. He's out. <laughs> Beautiful. I'm so glad to have Benjoy here. Some of the most memorable clips from these events over the years have been supplied to us from Benjoy. So no doubt we'll see some more. Uh, excellent stuff today. And here we are with Bat. Is this going to be Benjoy driving past Bad Boy? Uh oh, it is indeed. It, it could be curtains for Benjoy here, unless he keeps scooting, and he will keep scooting past Bad Boy. Not going to give his position away here. Going to let that one slide on through. I didn't know if a cheeky Panzer shot was going to come through there. Anyone remember the statues clip with Benjoy? I do. There was one. Uh, yeah, we had it in the Sanok room with the mannequins, and Benjoy and his teammate were standing in the room with the mannequins, pretending to be mannequins. Nice little heady there from Matrix. Has the self revives. So they're going to have to finish it off as well. Oh, does manage to catch it. But yeah, some of the stuff uh, Benjoy has done has been, uh, frankly, frankly outrageous. But unfortunately, um, Benjoy is now dead. So we'll have to wait for the next game for that one. Fortunately so, because Benjoy's antics are always some of my favorites. His dogs is now in a fight against Jesus, and uh, it's looking a bit rough for dogs here, but he's going to be bailed out um, as he's taken down by an SLR. Some quick shots. Um, this open field, there's not a lot of cover in this phase four. How yeah, that was... going to play this out? Yeah, Kai putting some shots into the back of Yusus there, getting rid of him, and then Dogs as well. They're all kind of out of the zone there, so they're going to have to reposition. It's a pretty rough place to have a scrap, but certainly more rough for Kai out in the middle of the field. Does have a vehicle there, and a lot of smokes up, so he might be able to get in that and try and rotate out of there and see how aggressive they're going to go with that. 13 players left live here. It does look like oh, Kai's just checking the car first, actually. Big fight going on here. There goes Mazarini taken down by Explicit. Another, another kill on the board for Explicit. Explicit having a great game. Got that uh, first kill and now is still not stopping on the edge of zone. Got to work his way in. And uh, just as I say, that commentator's curse has been stopped by dogs. <laughs> <laughs> So who have we got remaining here? We've got Iber in the middle with one kill at the moment. There's a dog over there. We still have another scrap dog. We've got dog and dog. So we've got two different dogs that I'm going to have to try and keep track of here. But Iber in a pretty strong spot. Does have Karanko pretty nearby in the same compound by the look of it. Uh, three kills on the board for dog SRS. Three for we. Four for Kai. And five for Matrix, I think, at the moment. Is that? That's, that's kills, right? Yeah, that's kills. Yeah, it looks like Kai's been sort of going under the radar. Oh, what a shot by Iba! Ooh. It's just ripped Senpai out of the car. Great, great hit from Iba. That is kill two on the board. Dominated with this K9 all. Love to see that. And keep an eye on these fights on the edge of the zone as well. As long as Karanko doesn't sneak up, Iba could be grabbing some even more kills over here. We're in a top 10 situation now and these fights are still raging on these hills. There's not really much place to hide as we try some little cheeky drive-by. Now both players whipping out those nades. Hackerjack got the control. A big nade lands onto both. They're so weak. It doesn't look like there's going to be anything finished just yet. Yeah, well, first one went a bit long on Hackerjack, but both of them just being chipped away at and going prone to try and deal with this. They are on the edge of the play zone here, but you feel like someone else is going to kind of interrupt this if they don't end it quickly. And it looks like Wee's going to back out of there. I'm not sure the card's going to be much use at this stage. Well, I'm just going to go for it. Iber, I think, well, it's going to get pushed to the edge of this zone. And we might see Iber and Karenko get pushed together here as that next zone uh, comes in. Looks like Hakuja does not want to give this up once this kill. Seems like he's got Wii on the run. Uh, and he is going to be on the run. Just straight into more trouble, though. Although, it looks like Mudger is creeping, crawling on the edge of zone and is looking for Wii here. Wii in a terrible, terrible spot. Yeah, this is about to escalate very rapidly. It's just who's going to come out on top? Is someone going to get both kills or is it going to be a quick pick up the pieces? We've got three players very, very close together here. Everyone else kind of over the other side of the circle at the moment. 
I don't think Mujah has to worry about behind too much. There we go. Has one out. Weehee gets a nice little spray, but we hits harder and puts down Mujah onto 39 HP. And looking bad, there goes uh, Mujah. But surely Hackerjack is... No, Hackerjack's actually backed off a little bit from that. Wasn't there to capitalize. Looks like Weehee's going to get away with that. Yeah, we in a terrible spot there, but plays it absolutely superbly. Uh, just takes down the immediate threat and uh, a bit of fortune. The fact that he wasn't sort of chasing.